Hey, Sam, it's a wonderful day. Oh, it is going to be a wild day. A little bit wacky and wiggly. Hmm, maybe wild woolly. Mm-hmm. Perhaps. I, to d- I like ahead. a weird day. Oh, you know, I'm kind of a weird person myself, so <laughs> I support that. Weirdness, unite. I think today might be a story time brought to you by the letter W. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, as we all know, before we get started, we've got to do something. Something that involves a W. We've got to get the wiggles out. Yeah. So start by wiggling your fingers. And down below, wiggle your toes. (laughs) And up here, what are these? Oh, yeah. Shoulders. Wiggle your shoulders. Nice. And now my favorite, wiggle your nose. <laughs> and now it's time to wiggle. Everything! Get all those wiggles out of you. All right. Whew. Now, shh. All the wiggles are out of me. And I will be as still as can be as we celebrate the letter W. <laughs> Sam, yeah. Do you know any words that start with W? Um, word. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I have some great examples today. I'm ready. I'm. I'm like. I've been practicing all week. Okay. The first <laughs> one, I love you. I think you have a fear of them, but I personally. Oh, a web. It's a spider web. No, I'm a, I love spiders. You I, do love I'm a spiders person too. I trap them and take them outside. Yeah. I do not kill spiders. I, they yep. are our friends. They <laughs> are our friends. Okay. <laughs> this is oh, wacky. Oh, window, yeah, right? Window, That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Okay. And then a little, if I had a flower, oh, I could. A little watering can. <laughs> and then our friend. Oh, hey, that's what my song's going to be about. Walrus. All right. That's probably my favorite fruit. uh, Watermelon. Nice. I cannot wait for watermelon. I know you can't get them out of season either. They just don't taste at all. They don't taste. They don't. And their consistency isn't good either. They're not as watery. Well, my story today is about one of these. Oh, waffle. I think I know what your story is. Yay. (laughs) <laughs> awesome. Fabulous. Wonderful W words. Okay. We have all kinds of uh, wacky W words that we can put into play right now as we do heckety peckety bumblebee. So let's do a one syllable word. You got anything, Amy? Oh, I do. Um, this one starts with an N, but the greater creature of it starts with a W. That's a narwhal, but a whale, right? Okay, whale, one syllable, nice, let's do it. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Whale, 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 whale! <laughs> okay, so we did one, now we're up to two. Oh, you had an animal, right? A walrus, whales and walruses, they probably hang out together and like tell jokes to each other. And stuff. I bet they're not friends, Sam. I, bet they're not I don't friends. know. I, I got dreams. I, I vision, you know, a Shangri-La of animals getting along and <laughs> being wonderful to each other. Okay. So walrus, heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Walrus, 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 walrus. Okay, we did one and two, We're up to three. Oh, my story is also about a woodpecker. Ah, uh, yeah, excellent. Okay, woodpecker, woodpecker. One, two, three, all right, we got it. Okay, heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Woodpecker, 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 woodpecker! All right, we did one, two, and three, and now we are up to four. And oh, one of the things that you just showed. Yeah. Is it our favorite summer fruit? It's our fruit? favorite summer fruit, watermelon. All right, okay, so watermelon it is. Let's just confirm that it's four. Watermelon. 
Yes. Okay, so let's do it. Heckety peckety bumblebee, won't you say this word with me? Watermelon. 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 Watermelon! <laughs> I just have a side note about um, woodpeckers. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I like them in stories. Uh, I don't like them pecking my house. <laughs> Have you ever had woodpeckers peck your house? Yeah, we had a resident woodpecker that pecked our house and our next door neighbor's house. And Bummer. it took us over a year to, to get him to go elsewhere. Wow. Okay, Amy, I, I think I know uh, what book you're going to be doing today because we did mention waffles and we did mention woodpeckers. So is it what I think it is? It is. It is. Woodpecker wants a waffle. Yay. Steve Breen. Oh, Steve Breen. This is hilarious. Awesome. It's so good. Okay, everybody. Today we're reading Woodpecker Wants a Waffle by Steve Breen. Sam, terrible and paper, but great story. Woodpecker Wants a Waffle. One morning, Benny awoke to the best Tummy rumbling smell. So off he flew to investigate. W A F F L E, he read. What in the world is a waffle? The waffles smelled good. The waffles looked good. The waffles must taste good, too, thought Benny. I want waffles, Benny declared. Benny politely pecked on the front door. But instead of waffles, he got the boot. Next, he tried to sneak in. But instead of waffles, Benny got swept away. Benny tried any number of creative disguises. But instead of waffles, he was tossed in the trash. What are you doing? asked Bunny. I am wishing for waffles, said Benny. The animal started laughing. This is ridiculous, Bunny said. One by one, the other animals chimed in. Raccoons don't eat ravioli. Lizards don't eat lasagna. Moose don't eat muffins. Frogs don't eat fries. Owls don't eat oatmeal. Hawks don't eat hot dogs. Coyotes don't eat cupcakes. Snakes don't eat snow cones. Skunks don't eat scones. Turtles don't eat turnovers. Bears don't eat bagels. Chipmunks don't eat cheeseburgers. And woodpeckers don't eat waffles. Well, why not? Benny asked. Why not? The animals grumbled, chirped, croaked, and whispered. They thought and thought and thought and thought. Because I said so, said Bunny. I really don't have time for this said so nonsense, Benny said impatiently. Benny got right to work devising a plan to get some waffles. First, I will shoot out of a cannon. Then I will hit the ground juggling. Then moonwalk and break dance followed up by a stand-up comedy act and a Broadway-style finale featuring fireworks. The animals were speechless, though Benny was sure he heard some snickering. See y'all tomorrow. Don't be late. The next morning, the animals gathered in the field by the diner to catch Benny's big show. No one was late, except Benny. All of the animals waited patiently 
for Benny to arrive. The waitress in the diner noticed something odd. The customers noticed something strange, too. Everyone at the diner stepped outside to look at the animals. That's when Benny made his move. Sweet, said Benny. And that is the end of the story. Woodpecker wants a waffle. Okay, I love that book. It's so I forget how ridiculous the end is, and it's hilarious. I so want a waffle now. Oh, me too, but you know, I almost always want a waffle, so <laughs> welcome to my life. <laughs> okay, well, we had a great book. Let's follow it up with a great song. And as I mentioned before, this is going to be a song all about a walrus. It's got so many W's. It's going to be a walrus washing his winter coat. And see that right there that Amy has in her hands? You're going to want to go grab yourself a scarf or a bandana or even an old t-shirt or something, but something that you can play with because this is a, a song where a scarf is really going to help out. So again, it's called The Walrus Washes His Winter Coat. And Amy will do the motions so you can see generally kind of what to do with your scarf. Okay, so it goes like this. The walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. And the laundry goes spin, 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 and the laundry goes spin, 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 and the laundry goes spin, spin, spin until it's clean. And the laundry goes spin, 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 and the laundry goes spin, 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 and the laundry goes spin, spin, spin until it's clean. Okay, back to the chorus. The walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. And the laundry goes shake, 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 and the laundry goes shake, 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 and the laundry goes shake, shake, shake until it's clean. And the laundry goes shake, 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 and the laundry goes shake, 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 and the laundry goes shake, shake, shake until it's clean. Okay, one more time. The walrus washes his winter coat down by the wavy ocean. He adds some water and he adds some soap and he waits and he waits and he waits. And the laundry goes wiggle, 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 and the laundry goes wiggle, 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 and the laundry goes wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until it's clean. And the laundry goes wiggle, 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 and the laundry goes wiggle, 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 and the laundry goes wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until it's clean. Yeah! <laughs> awesome job, Amy. Thanks. I love that new song, Sam. That Me was too. fine. First time I've ever heard it or played it. And Jay Brary, anybody out there who needs some great little kid music, go to Jay Brary. They're librarians from Canada who have a website with virtually every children's song ever done ever. <laughs> yeah. There. Anytime I need something for a theme, that's my go-to spot. Me too. Okay. Are you ready for some walloping laughs? Are uh, there some wacky jokes, some wacky antics, perhaps? Yeah, there's uh, three today. Ooh, okay, I'm ready. Okay. I'm the waiting. The first one is, how do we know the ocean is friendly? <laughs> because it keeps waving at us? It waves! <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. What animal needs to wear a wig? It's a lot of W's in there. Uh, a warthog because he's embarrassed about his warts. Okay. No, Sam. <laughs> a national bird, the bald eagle. Aww. His head's cold. He needs a wig. <laughs> okay. What's number three? What you got? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wilfred. Wilfred who? Wilfred, like his present. <laughs> That's a classic. That's like a knock, knock joke that you or I could have written. You know, and I love that. I love that about knock-knock jokes. They're the uh, common man's joke, right? <laughs> I really wanted to find one with waffle, but I just couldn't. Yeah, you know, it's time for us to write that joke. Yeah. Uh, Amy? Have, have we made it to the end again? Oh, well, W was, uh, was really a warm and whimsical delight. Yeah, so everybody enjoy it, because next week... 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be saying xylophone and Xanadu over and over and over again. <laughs> There's not a lot of X words, kiddos. <laughs> we might have to stretch things a little bit next week. <laughs> yeah, okay, so prepare yourself. But for now, we will say goodbye in the way that we always do. We love to get a little silly with our goodbyes. So here's what we do. See you later, alligator. Give a hug, ladybug. Oh, oh, ee, ee, ah, ah. See you soon, baboon. Bye-bye, butterfly. Better swish, jellyfish. Blow a kiss, goldfish. Time to shake, rattlesnake. Out the door, dinosaur. Be sweet, parakeet. Let's jam, Sam. Let's jam. <laughs> and hope that the xylophone awesomeness of next week will be... I can't think of another word that starts with X. <laughs> it will be fantastic. We'll come Ex up with some stuff. Exciting. There's an X in there. Exciting. It will be excellent. <laughs> I'm not sure that about that, Sam. <laughs> Well, tune in. <laughs>